Hi and welcome to the third series of the Road to Expedition. What a journey this has been and for me the most amazing part of this product is how we build it and I'm going to bring you along, tell you the story and show you as much as I can on how we've got it to exactly how it is right now. So it's been a long road here at Zone RV to get to this pre-production expedition. I guess 10 years ago, coming into the caravan market for me, I always wanted and knew that if we bought fully molded composite caravan, it would have to be the leader in the market. Because effectively, if you look at any high performing product, whether it's Formula One, aerospace, power boats or yachts, you will end up looking at a construction method of the overall body that to be honest, is not too different from what this expedition is. Probably when I was 18, 19, ended up getting into the boat building industry. I learned that we could be building lighter and stronger and getting that competitive edge. All through my, my 20s, I, I spent my time building building yachts, building you know some really high performing cruising catamarans. And I guess when I saw what was happening in the RV industry and saw that we could potentially make a difference with weight and strength, I guess back then I really didn't know how big a difference weight and strength could play. 10 years ago when we started Zone RV, we, we definitely knew we could have a competitive edge. I think today, 2023, it is the most common part of the conversation in people wanting to go off-roading, caravanning and go to harsher places for longer periods of time and do all of that with more luxury that guess what you need a stronger lighter smarter caravan 10 years ago when we did start zone rv i would have said that my vision was that we were going to go to a fully molded product and that's how we would get our competitive edge i guess back in the day we did what a portion of the market was doing and that was designing caravans with flat sandwich panel. And what we've done by going fully molded is developing something that has got less joins, less moving parts, and just through the process of vacuum infusion, which is effectively a fully closed molded way of making this product, inherently we end up with lighter and stronger. Now, why did it take Zone RV 10 years to get to this product? Well, for the same reason as production boat builders end up having this massive hurdle of a huge upfront cost, that is the barrier to entry. If this process was cheap and easy, you would see the whole market doing it. It's taken a big budget and a quite a long amount of time to be able to achieve what we want. And there's a couple of reasons behind that. If we were going to sort of set up production to be able to build one of these a week, well, we probably would just have a smallish factory and we would be able to fit the tooling in it and produce one a week. But when you have a mission to be able to build a lot of these a week to a very high tolerance and a very high quality, we've had to invest in brand new big facilities We've gone to the next level in our automation. We've got a handful of robots running in the facilities now. And obviously the most time consuming part in getting to a molded product is actually making the plugs that you make your production tooling off. Now that was where we made the quantum leap. We invested in the biggest 3D printer in the Southern Hemisphere, which is 22 meters long, five meters wide by two meters high. Now when all of that equipment turned up and huge amounts of time in commissioning that and really no textbook that tells you how to operate that machine, there's a lot of lessons to learn, a lot of trialing and a lot of R&D. This expedition here was made from all 3D printed plugs and that was basically the first project out of the box for our new big 3D printer. To look back on now over the last nine months to what our team has actually achieved is pretty astonishing. And from where I'm sitting as the chief technical officer in this business, I am just so thrilled with how the expedition has come up and how the production facility and team have come together to bring this thing into production and give you the best off-roading experience that you are possibly going to get in the market today. The fundamentals of a molded product is three parts that make up the molding. The resin, the fiberglass structural laminate, 
and the foam core. Now in this scenario, we've got the ability in the, in the moldings to be able to put different pieces of fiberglass laminate where we need extra strength. And we don't just make a decision that we're gonna blanket it out and make all the laminate in one spot. So we can put more reinforcement in specific areas that we want it, and we can put less laminate where we don't want it. That is a key way that we can pull about 30% of the laminate out where we don't really need it, and we can add laminate where we want the strength. The foam core is one of the most important elements to the strength. It's sitting between the outside fiberglass laminate and the inside fiberglass laminate. And in the expedition, it's a 25 and 35 mil piece of foam core. Now in a con composite construction, the further apart you take those laminates, the stiffer and stronger the panel gets. The second most important part we get out of the foam core in this structure is that it provides insulation. Now in the harsh Australian environments, it's one of the most important things we're looking for so that we're not baking the inside of our vans, which is all of our food, or having to get into a hot box when we're trying to go to sleep at night. I guess with my experience in touring Australia over the last 10 years with Zone RV, the journey has been part of the excitement for me, whether it's crossing through the Simpson Desert, going through the Kimberleys or up to the Cape. Being able to go further, faster and safer has been the key elements to my experience with touring the Australian outback. Stay tuned for the next Road to Expedition as we delve a little bit deeper into really what brought the expedition together and what makes it so special.